you can't do this? I'm sorry, Levi. Is there some kind of problem here? No, there's no problem, sir. No. I hope this ceremony is as legitimate as you've been claiming, or there will be serious consequences, Mr. Dunkelman. Just give us a moment, yeah? Sweetheart, I know this is sudden, but if we don't get married, I go and be deported. I could be thrown in prison back home. You don't want that, do you? No, of course not. And I know that you were just trying to do the right thing, but this is something I don't know if I can do. I know the universe might have pushed up our timeline a little bit, but I believe in my heart we would have always ended up here. Right here, right now. You're doing the right thing. And once you say I do, I'm going to spend the rest of my life making you the happiest woman in the world. But I can't do that from behind bars halfway around the world, can I? No. You're right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. Just some bride-to-be jitters. Please proceed. Okay, then I, I, I will. Where was I? Um, oh, yes. Maxie, do you take Levi to be your husband? I do. <laughs> now, by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you... Stop. Nathan. Levi Dunkelman, I am placing you under arrest. Nathan, what is going on? What happened to your face? Your fiance attacked me. He's a con man, Max. He's been using you from the start to get access to your mother's Aztec jewels. What? Son of a bitch! Wait, no, no. This this is a mistake, Levi. Please just tell them this is some sort of misunderstanding. Now oh, no. step away from him. Levi, you're under arrest for assault. And you're coming down to the station with me right now. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, oh my just yet. Don't even think about it. Maxie, don't move. Levi, forget about it. You got no place to go. Who's Flash? I'm the one with the gun pointed at the bride. I thought you had an accent. You were lying this whole time. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You lying bastard! It was all a lie! From the day we met, helping me become a better person, Levi, I trusted you. We slept together. No, no, we had some good times. You cost me my daughter! Oh my god, Nathan was right! It's not my fault you were deemed unfit. Son of a bitch, I'll blow your head off. I right, risk hitting Maxie? Do it. Do it, Nathan. I don't care if you hit me. This whole thing was my fault. Maxie, this is not your fault. No, you all tried to warn me about him, and I didn't listen to you. Max, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. It'll be okay when you shoot him. He's not gonna shoot me, Maxie. He's not going to risk hitting you. Are you a detective? Because even if you drop me with one shot, my finger still might squeeze the trigger as a reflex. Oh. I don't care, Nathan. I don't care if you hit me, just shoot him. Is that what you want, Felicia? You want your daughter to die for a pair of earrings? No, 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 please, don't oh. hurt her. I'll do anything you want, please. I already have your ring and your necklace. All I need now is your earrings. Don't you touch her. Last chance. Hand over the earrings or I kill Maxie right in front of you. No, stay where you are. Mark, let me buy. No way. He has our daughter. This is what you want, right? You want these? That is to complete the set. And then you can leave everybody alone and nobody will get hurt. So take them and get the hell out of my daughter's life. Drop the weapon, Levi. Oh. I said drop it. It's over. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Unless you want to see your wife bleed out in front of you, no. detective. <laughs> General Hospital. I'm here to apologize. You want to come back and work for me? Let's make this a threesome. You free or not? What did you have in mind? You're not going anywhere. Nina. Turn over your weapon, Detective Falconeri. 